Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 32 Now I'm gonna hear back with another 2014 Ninjago review. Today we have set number 70720. This is the Hover Hunter. This set will retail you about 12 US dollars. It contains 79 pieces, ages 7 through 14. And where did I get this set? Well, actually, I got this one at Toys R Us. Now, a warning, Toys R Us has marked this set up $4. That's 33.3% markup on this thing. Really bad markup. Luckily, I had a coupon to get some money off, so I didn't actually have to pay the markup. But just a warning, if you don't, if you have a little bit more of a tight budget, I would just wait a couple more weeks until LEGO officially releases these sets on LEGO.com on December 1st. But here's a front look at your box. Here's a quick look at the back of your box, and I gotta say, whoever designed the artwork on the back of this box should get fired, because it doesn't show any of the play features, it's just a bad image in general of the Hover Hunter. I mean, the image between the two guys fighting is kinda cool, but it's just not a very good looking back of the box. This set here includes one instruction manual with 22 pages of building. First up for minifigures here is Cole, and Cole is not exclusive in this set. He does also come in the $30 Thunder Raider set, so kind of unfortunate that you don't get an exclusive minifigure in this set. However, you do get an exclusive Techno Blade, which is I'm going to show you right now. This is the Techno Blade. It's molded in translucent green. It looks fantastic. I love the coloring. I love the new mold for the blade piece right there. So that is an exclusive piece. Cole looks pretty great from the front right there. Cole does have a face underneath his bandana, and there he is from the back. The one other figure included in this set is a Nindroid. And I gotta say, a little bit disappointed on this Nindroid because he does not include the same Nindroid mask like this one right here. I love that Nindroid mask and I kind of wish that this one would have had that mask, but unfortunately he doesn't. He is a pretty cool figure besides that with some great front twister printing right there. But I don't like printing, so that's kind of disappointing. He does also feature some back head printing and some back printing just in general. Looks great right there. Here is the main part of the set, the Hover Hunter. Just based off looks, this isn't the most pretty vehicle in the world. It does look all right. Got some interesting details. I like the purple colors. These are printed pieces. Give you a 360 spin right here. The back looks pretty cool. Interesting vehicle, not the most attractive, but it does kind of look cool. Back here basically is serving as the cockpit. Luckily, you do have a control panel right there, which is a printed piece. You can actually lift these up. These kind of serve as a roll cage, and you can fit your Nindroid right inside there, and you can put these down on top of him. That looks really cool. You guys probably already noticed on the side, there are flick fire missiles, of course. Pretty decent, they're easy to fire. I do like that quite a bit. But the main play feature with this Hover Hunter is fantastic for such a small set. Basically, when you push this thing on the ground, just watch the saw blade, it spins. Great feature, it spins backwards too if you move it back. I love this feature, LEGO did a great job designing that. Really like that. If you're wondering how that works, basically all it does is that just this wheel rubs up on the bottom of the saw blade and makes it spin. Really creative, good feature, great job doing that right there, LEGO. Really like that quite a bit. All right guys, final verdict here on the Hover Hunter. For $12, 79 pieces, not a great value. The vehicle you do get is actually a pretty nice size and it has some really good playability features. It doesn't really look that great, but you do get some good minifigures, although neither of the figures are exclusive. However, the Techno Blade is exclusive, so if you want to collect all of those Techno Blades, this is definitely a set that you need to get. Is it a must-have? I think the price is the main thing that's good about this set because it's really cheap. It's a great way to get some of these characters for a very cheap amount of money. Besides that, it's not that exciting. That's why I'm going to give this set a 6.9 out of 10. I think it's pretty cool, but honestly, it's, it's not quite there. I hope you guys enjoyed my review, and I hope to see you guys next time. Please go like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. There will be links to all those down in the description, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.